I, th I think we are live here. Good morning, good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. So today is March 8th. So the today's title is why Bravo is the pro over express. The answer is really simple. Okay, answer is really, really simple answer because Bravo Brewster Pro is on sale right now. Okay, it's right now. So if you guys are uh, thinking about buying it or check it out, I have a link down below as well. So just make sure. Okay, so if you go to Amazon right now, hold on, let me get the, okay, so my laptop here. Okay, here we go. If you go to Amazon right now, you see that? I mean, all the machines on sale, okay? Especially Bravo Brista Express. Dang, 523, okay, 523. Even better than yesterday, all right? Yesterday was 599. So today is 523. And the touch is 879. If I were you, I'm not bad, yeah, I'm not, I'm gonna skip the touch. Okay, don't get me wrong, skip. Touch is nice, but but Bravo Vista Pro is a 679. All right. And then we have a, obviously a Gavi for 500, but I'm not a big fan of Gavi. Yeah, so the, again, 523, 679. That's okay. Bravo Vista Express and Pro, they usually about $200 difference, usually. But right now it's about 140. So 523 at Express, 679. Okay, so it's under 700 bucks for the Pro. So let me explain to you why. You know, let's make some coffee with the Pro. Let me explain to you why you should get the Pro over Express, because 140 bucks. Okay. I mean, it can be deal breaker for a lot of people. So let's face it, okay? It's still over $500 for a coffee machine. The coffee machine that you simply make yourself coffee in the morning, all right? I mean, it is, it is still a lot of money, okay? It is still a lot of money, but, I mean, if you are looking for good cup coffee, oh man. I mean, this is something I, I've been struggle for over the years, okay, over the years. Which machine I think I should recommend to you guys, Express over Pro. And I have, fact is I have two machines, okay? I have, I've been using, I have two, uh, Express and Pro. I've been using them for years. And I feel like I'm always go to the Pro, okay? Let me show you why. I'm gonna start it. It's ready to brew, okay? The coffee is ready to brew right now. Yes, everything is all cold. Okay, everything is all cold. So obviously all the Bravo machines comes with stock filter baskets and a portal filter as well. Okay. If I'm gonna press it, the water comes out, you know, obviously it comes out right away because you don't have to worry about weight. Okay. Because they use this thermal jet over thermal block. So a thermal jet is extremely fast. So if you wanna start steaming, hopefully you guys can see this. Okay, I can zoom. There we go. Can I zoom this? There we go, that's it, I can zoom it too. Okay, so with Express, if you're gonna start doing the steam, take a little while. Watch the Pro. Okay, matter of seconds, you can start doing this steam. Look at that. Steaming powers are pretty impressive. Works pretty good. And then the mainly uh, comes with, it's by seven to like nine bar pressure, more like eight to nine bar pressure there. So it's very, very calm. 
and compare to Express, but I heard the brand new Bravo Barista Express machine comes with a nine bar pressure. Okay, uh, if you have by the way, if you have the Express at home, just bought it. Yeah, let me know. Okay, let me know because what I heard from the Bravo uh, recently, uh, they changed the nine bar pressure. But again, with the thermal block, uh, it takes a little while to all heat it up, the warmed up. But with the thermal jet from Pro, is just the speed. Okay, how fast you can you know get going in the morning, and also. The one thing I love about the Express, you can actually heat up your machine. So in the morning you get up, put your port filter in, turn it on, you just walk away for your morning routine. Okay, after like 20 minutes or so, everything is nice and warm. Okay, nice, not hot, still nice and warm. Okay, port filter is warm as well. Thermal jet, it's not gonna do that. Okay, so there's nothing to warm it up, it's just so fast. So only way to warm up your portal filter is you got to do a couple of dummy shots. That's it. You got to do a couple of dummy shots and then, you know, bring up to the temperature. So, uh, you are going to waste some water. All right. Because I do about two or three times for the, uh, do the dummy shots. So two or three. And, and also you're going to have a better grind size. Okay. The grind grinder setting. So instead of Bravo Brisa Express has one through 16, the Pro has one through 30. Uh, they actually cut that in half. The Pro has more refined, um, <clears throat> the grind options there, grind size options. And then the thing is all this, uh, all digital display instead of those analog. Personally, I love the analog portion of it. You know, I love the button combination as well, you know, but with the Pro, is all so much easier, okay? The menu bar, they tell you what to do, okay? They tell you what to do step by step. So uh, if you're thinking about buying a Pro, obviously I have a plenty, plenty of videos on my channel and the Express, I have even more content for it. So again, if you're into Express or Pro, you're in the right channel, all right? You're on the right channel, but something about Express though, something about Express that I really enjoy, but comes to convenience and how easy to use and speed wise, I mean, can beat the pro. Okay, can beat the pro there. Okay, so meantime, let's, uh, let's brew some coffee. Okay, and then, so if you're thinking about buying the pro, the only, uh, uh, only gear, the like coffee gadgets I recommend is just uh, any kind of 3D dosing funnel, okay. That's it, hands-free 3D dosing funnel. You, if you have 3D print, you can print this at home as your convenience. If you go to Amazon right now, I do have a link down, but yeah, they have a tons and tons of companies to make this as well. So, it's a, you know, whoever has the cheapest, get it, okay. And let's see here, what else? Pretty much it, uh, tamping mat. Okay, five or six bucks. That's all you need. I know, uh, I know one of my viewers uh, mentioned to me yesterday because I made a video on the price alert yesterday for the Bravo, uh, Bravo Brisa Express and Pro, the price. And uh, I know people want to go with the 58 millimeter. Um, if you ask me about three or four years ago, you know, which machine should I get? I say save money. And go with like 58 millimeter. 58 millimeter port filter is a standard, okay, for the industry standard. That's why you're gonna have a lot of tools, okay, tools and gadgets. And but you know what? Things are changed, okay, the last couple of years. So 54 millimeter. I'm telling you. I mean, again, if you are new to the coffee, 54 millimeter, they have got everything now, okay. They have the bottomless port filter. If you want to, you can go with the fancy tools as well. Okay. You can go with the fancy tools. I mean, even Force Temper makes 54 millimeter. Bravo makes 54 millimeter tempers and distribution tools. Just beautiful setup. Okay. So if I were, don't worry about the tools. It's out there. Okay. But the flip side is if you, if you buy fancy tools, 
eventually going to upgrade to 58. Again, um, if you want just a coffee in the morning, just make good coffee in the morning and that's it. Okay. Just, you know, do not invest too much money on. Again, do not invest too much money on uh, tools yet. All right. But if you really want to go all in on coffee, I think a 58 is better choice for you down the road. Okay. But again, the price wise, if I were you, just buy the machine. All depend on your budget, but I recommend the Pro over Express. But Express is only 529 right now, so that's a pretty good price too. Can beat it, okay? 529 and 679. So the price is the price gaps somewhat re, uh, reduced, okay? 679 is still a really good price. 529 is better than Express, but if you save that 140, I think you're going to be happy with spend additional 140 to get pro, okay? And that's my opinion as well. All right, so let's brew some quick coffee. So, I mean, most of you drink like medium to dark roast anyway. So this is the store-bought coffee, by the uh, So this is store-bought coffee, all right? Uh, oh, don't forget to buy scale. Yeah, I highly recommend it. So this is a scale from Amazon. 10 bucks. Okay. I'm going to show you why I like to use this. Hold on. Let me show you guys my quick workflow. I like to use it in measure at 18 grams. So, so this is my morning routine. I usually uh, measure at 18 grams because you could use the hopper. But whenever you change out the brand new coffee, you got to change it. Okay. I don't like that. So <clears throat> I'm just going to use my spouted filter here. Just simply get the 3D to, to the funnel, put it in there on the top. Uh, grind size, I set at number 13. Okay. Number 13 for the grind size. That's it. Okay, coffee is grind. That's why it's quite hands-free. You don't have to worry about it. I know people like to do WDT, but since we got the spotted ones, I mean, at the this, I don't care about that. I'm just gonna gently tap right here, just to use the temper. This is a temper from uh, San Anthony Industry. And this is really nice, okay, I have to say. This is definitely a luxury item. It's not that expensive either, considering, you know, the high-end products. It has a magnetic on it. You just put back in, that's it. All right. And then I like to use the puck screen. Not because you're going to get a better extraction, because you're going to have just a clean shower screen. All right. I'm just going to lock it in here. There we go. All right. And I know most of you, I like to use my scale to get like one to two, one to three ratio. Uh, sometimes I just eyeball it. Okay. I'm just kind of like eyeball, you know. You know, I don't even, you know, I don't even think twice about it. So put the, Press my button there, double cup button. Pre infusion, and the coffee is gonna come out. Again, with the store bought coffee.
Shot quality is somewhat questionable, but hey, still coffee, all right? And I like to drink like Americano in the morning. Put my cup. Got the hot water going. And uh, just simply add my coffee. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> so this is kind of like my morning routine. That's it. All right, so I'm gonna have this beautiful Americano. Again, the coffee is the, just a regular store bought. I got it like two weeks ago. <clears throat> so I, I th <clears throat> I'm trying to you know, show you guys how easy to use the machine. You're gonna be for crema on the top here. So, cheers, guys. It's fine. Okay. Drink that in the morning. <clears throat> You're gonna clean this. Just take it out. Tap it. Again, the reason why I, use, I like to use the puck screen is the you're gonna have a dry puck. That's it. So easier to clean. So. Shut it up. I'll be fine. I'll clean it on the shower screen. The sh I'll group it there. You need to buy this. Okay. So this is must. Cleaning tool. It's about five or six bucks. Okay. So here's the shopping list for you. Cleaning tool. 3D dosing funnel. <coughs> Scale. And tamping mat. That's it. Okay, in the beginning. And after that, okay, after that, if you're having fun with it, if you want to do a little more, okay, you can add a cup. Okay, you don't need to, you, you don't need to use a dosing cup. You just use any kind of cup to measure out your coffee. Measure out coffee. That's it. And then, and uh, after done, <clears throat> I like to press the button here. Just clean it. All right, shut it off, wipe down your station. So that's my uh, morning routine, done. I mean, if you live by yourself, okay? If you're with the family, I usually make about three coffee in the morning. Actually, uh, actually my wife makes her own coffee. My son makes his own coffee as well, so, and it's easy. Okay, it's so easy to use. I saw my gear free too. And I used to have a durable machine right here at home. Guess what? They're all stainless steel. I'm right next to my stove. All the grease hits it. Okay, so I gotta clean it constantly. So not only that, I need a separate grinder for my machine. So I, I was running out of space. So this is my coffee station. This is it. <clears throat> I don't know about you guys. Unless if you're going to have your dedicated coffee bar for yourself at your house, the space is going to be the key. How much space do you have? I don't have much. So you got to really conscious about space. And <clears throat> if someone asks me, who, I mean, what is your dream machine for your house? I don't have a dream machine for my house because I don't have the space for it. You know, I cannot enjoy the machine. So I'd rather have the Pro or Express at my house than any other machines because I don't have to think about it. You know, I just use it. You know, if I spend two, three thousand dollars on the durable machine, all right, and then gonna, I'm gonna spend another thousand bucks on the grinder all the gadgets right next to my stove I don't think so yeah so it's not practical for my lifestyle here okay so that's why I want something easy to use easy to clean up <clears throat> yeah anyway I'm gonna check out some live chat here man sun is coming up right now so hold on I'm just gonna switch a little bit 
to this side. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, yeah I got the, all the light comes in. Let's see here. Shout out to Bruce this morning. We got a lot of comments there as well. Let's see. Kevin say 54 millimeter needed a funnel dosing adapter, 18 gram. Okay. Spi okay, I'm gonna talk about that for a second. The spillage. <clears throat> okay, hold on. She's put your setup there. Okay, kitchen. Do you have a kitchen island? No, I don't have. I, my kitchens are tiny. Okay. Yeah. Well, when should you adjust your temperature? I mean, if you are using like lighter roast, you know, change your temperature, you know, to the maximum. But I, I usually like to use like medium to dark ro uh, roast anyway. So I just set a default temperature. And let's see here. What else? Wait. Uh, let's see here. Grind size. We talk about that. Someone, I just forgot. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah. Grind size. We, got, we talk about the tools. Hold on. Water temperature. Hold on a second here. Goodness. Let's see here. I totally forgot what they were talking about. The, yeah, so express, Justin say, uh, express from, yeah, Bra uh, Bravo say uh, December 22nd, set to nine bar. Yeah, good. Excellent. Let's see here. I'm trying to, a uh, temping station. Oh yeah, spillage. Yes, spillage. Uh, the Brabber stack basket comes with, uh, hold on, this lighting is terrible, hold on, that's better, okay. So Brabber, uh, the stack basket comes with six, uh, let's, let's like 14 to 16 gram baskets, okay, so I switched out, okay, I, that's the first thing I did, okay, I switched out the baskets, all right, I switched out the, so this is not IMS, this is just regular Amazon baskets. If you want to go something fancy, you can buy the uh, IMS baskets. Uh, they got a couple of different models. You got the uh, 16, uh, 18 gram baskets and 18 to 22 gram baskets. So, so this one, just a regular Amazon baskets. It's more square. <clears throat> so this one, you don't have to worry about spillage. Okay. And this one cost me what? 10 or 15 bucks or so. And I mean, IMS makes great basket too, a precision basket, like 25 bucks. So a little pricey. But once you start getting into like coffee as your hobby, you could upgrade to IMS later. But, but meantime, <clears throat> just get the you know, cheapest Amazon baskets. I'm gonna put the link. Okay, link down below when I'm done with it. <clears throat> so this is a lot better than uh, just uh, they are Robert stock baskets because you can fit more into it. If you put 18 gram in it, it goes 18. You don't have to worry about spillage. Uh, if you are using the regular stock baskets, maybe measure out maybe 16 gram instead of 18. Okay, and then if you like to use the <clears throat> proper ratio, so 16 gram in, uh, depend on your ratio you like, two to 2.5 ratio. So like 36 to 40 grams should be good. Again, so that's the, <clears throat> you wanna make espresso recipe. So it's all up to you, comes to recipe wise. There's no right, there's no right ratio, let's put it that way. If you like one to two ratio, that's gonna be your recipe. If you like one to two, one to three, so play with the different ratio and then see which one you like the best. <clears throat> What else? I think, hopefully I answer all you guys' questions there. Okay, I think we are good. Okay, I think we are good. Because if you are just joining us for the, for the first time, yeah, welcome to live streaming. Okay, I mean, I mean, my channel is mostly like Bravo machines. Okay, I have to put it that way. In the afternoon session, I'm focused on more uh, more gadgets like grinders and different, yeah, mostly grinders lately. So, so this week I'm entire week dedicate, uh, dedicated to conical grinders. All right. So, so far we uh, take a look at the fellow Opus. 
Yesterday was a Varia VS3. This morning, let's check out the, I don't know, maybe like FEMA book or SD40. Maybe SD40. Okay, maybe SD40. Maybe we can check it out. Yeah, maybe today. So we got FEMA book coming up, a niche grinder coming up. FEMA book is 68 millimeter conical. That's large conical. Okay. That should be fun to you. Uh, fun to play with and then obviously we got the calf attack mc5 that's the i mean that's pretty impressive ones okay okay hold on a second uh joe is on the live chat joe said he's gonna send me the new sd40 there uh is it joe is how different is it there you guys read uh is a step less or step okay so because sd40 is step grinder okay hold on Let's take a look at what he said. Oh, hold on, never mind. So we're not we're not gonna do the SD40 today. Okay. Uh, Joe Joe mentioned to me that he's gonna send me the new one. Uh, so let's do the female book today. Yeah, let's do the female book. Because I have the original SD40. And uh, by the way, if you don't know Joe is, uh, Joe is on the live chat. Uh, he's the friend of our channel. Uh, he owns the Espresso Outlet, and uh, he provides, I think he's the largest uh, distributor for U.S., for the DF. So if you have any DF questions, make sure to ask him. Okay, all the DF64, 83. Joey, is, it, is there any plan to make like DF100? Yeah, let me know. DF100. Since... Train makes everything now, so why not go with 98 millimeter at this point there? All right. Uh, again, I mean, coffee is your hobby. This is a great time. This is a great time to be a coffee hobbyist. We got them all. Okay. I mean, goodness. They got everything now. Okay. They used to, I mean, they used, so when I start making coffee videos, only gadgets I can uh, find was, uh, let's see, the Crema, years ago, Crema coffee products come up with the bottomless poly filter. That was a big deal at the time, about three years ago. Uh, 80 bucks, 80, 90 bucks, pretty pricey, okay? And after that, Company, you know, in China, obviously, they started making a lot of 54 millimeter okay, gadgets. So price go down considerably. So instead of spending 80 or 90 bucks on port filter, now, what, 30 bucks, 40 bucks as well. And especially grinder. I mean, goodness. The, at the time, the niche grinder was the it, okay? So niche grinder was the number one seller for single dose because a lot of home barista is going to, you know, because a lot of home barista likes a single dose option there. So they'll start buying, you know, at, again, there's no competitors at the time. Niche was it. And that short time after, you got so many companies from China start making stuff. It's incredible. Again, if you're in the grinder, this is a great time to be coffee hobbyist. Anyway, Hold on, I'm going to take a look at the one last time here. Okay, uh, someone talking about the DF83. The DF83 is, they are sneaky good coffee grinder, okay. That is a just right in that burst size. You know, it's not too much, it's not too little. They're powerful, yeah. That, uh, that's fun to use, okay. Uh, we're going to talk about that maybe next week. Next week, we're just going to play with all the flatbird grinders. So conical this week, next week, uh, we, let's focus on the flapper. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. And I'll be back uh, in about a couple hours. Uh, let's play with the female book this morning. Okay, let's play with the female book there. Let's see here. Uh, we have someone, I guess someone mentioned about the Italian German made. Man, I'm telling you. Italian and German knows how to make wonderful grinders, but they're really, really pricey. 
The one of my favorite grinder is the, the Titus. Titus from Germany. I mean, get, why don't you ask your coffee friends? Do you know any Titus coffee grinder? Most, most people, they don't know what Titus is. Okay. Uh, look it up, guys. Uh, Titus. They are awesome. Okay. But if you look at the price, it's going to be shock you. Can you imagine spending $10,000 on coffee grinder? Okay. We are talking about $600 coffee machine right here. Okay. And the $500 for Bravo Brewster Express. Can you imagine if you're going to tell your loved ones, I'd like to buy a $10,000 coffee grinder. Yeah, it's not going to be good. But again, uh, comes to coffee wise, you know, you, it's all about your budget, right? Budget and your space. If you have the money to blow, okay, if you have a boatload of money and a lot of space in your house, coffee is your hobby for you. Goodness, I mean, you, ha you have no limits. Okay, let's put it that way. You have no limit to it. Just like buying a sports car, all right? Just like buying a sports car, you don't need Bugattis, okay? It's going to get you there point A to point B, but in style. Same as a coffee machine. That's it, same as coffee machine. It's going to get you, it's going to make you <clears throat> one good coffee, okay? But it's not going to make your coffee taste any better. Maybe slightly better if you have the right grinder. But once you add some water, maybe if you are into latte, add some little bit of milk, guess what? You, at, that, at that point, you cannot tell the difference between $10,000 coffee setup versus $500 coffee setup. All right. You cannot tell the difference. Hold on. Someone, is it, is it Jerry? Jerry has <clears throat> comment there. Uh, I'm trying to explain to my wife why I need a Kaya scale. Okay. Comes to scale... Comes to scale, what you pay for is what you get. Okay, Jerry? Tell your wife that. All right? What you pay for is what you get. Think of it as shoes. Okay? Think of it as uh, shoes. If you buy cheap shoes, after a year or so, it's going to break it apart. So this one is a G dealer scale. You see the, all the water stain? It's hard to read it. All the mark there, you know, get a job done, but, you know, it's terrible. It works, but it's not that accurate either, okay? So, I mean, $10. Akaya scale is $250. Bucks, $250. Uh, all depends on where you buy. Uh, let's see, sometimes the, some kind of discount. You can get 10 or 15% off there. So... Still over $200 for scale, but again, think of it as you are buying a really, really nice shoes. It's going to last pretty much for a long, long time, okay? Once you have the Akaya scale, you're going to have for, we're not talking about years. Uh, you are talking about months. You are, you are talking about years and years. It lasts a long time. It's water, uh, water resistant as well, so you don't have to worry about getting wet. Yeah, you can just wipe it down, yeah. So... So that's something I don't mind recommend to pretty much any of you because you're going to use that scale anyway. It doesn't matter which coffee machine you have. If, you, if you're going to upgrade to, you know, 58 millimeter down the road, having the Akaya scale is worth it. Okay. But again, um, if you're a coffee hobbyist, I recommend the Akaya scale. But man, for I mean, regular people like us, just get the cheap G dealer scale is fine for now, right? Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. I, I do have a link for the uh, Bravo Booster Pro there. So, I mean, this is a good time to buy, okay? Express or Pro doesn't matter. The price is incredible right now. So, yeah. Uh, it happens only a couple times a year, especially Pro. The Express is even, even lower, too. I mean, last my sell was $5.99. Is, I mean, yeah, this is a limited time, so make sure to take advantage of this opportunity there. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. 
and see you guys in about a couple hours.